This tutorial is another free sample from my course, Make Painterly Game Art with Krita, a course that will show you the techniques professionals use to make game art. It's also a question a number of you asked me, so I thought this would be quite useful. Enjoy! You want to use the right document size or resolution for your sprite. How do you know which one it is? Game artists follow a simple rule of thumb. They work at two times the game's maximum target resolution. For example, I decided to make an HD game with a resolution of 1920 times 1080 pixels. So I painted my first concept and the characters in a document that's twice as big, that is to say 3840 times 2160 pixels. There are a few reasons for that. First of all, some of the operations we do in a digital painting program are destructive. When you use the Free Transform or the Liquify tool, you lose a bit of precision on your character's edges. If you work at two times the game's resolution, it's not a problem because you will downscale all the sprites before you import them in the game engine. And resizing sprites like that will sharpen them a little bit. Secondly, the higher resolution allows you to zoom in a bit more and will make it easier to add details in the polishing phase. But at the same time, you can zoom in too much so you can't add tiny details and elements that won't make a difference on the final sprite. And lastly, in case you want to support retina displays, you can also do that because your source document has twice the pixel density of the final game. Now the question is, how do you know what your target resolution is? This is a task for the developers or game designers. It's a technical fact that another member of your team will generally give you as the artist. For the training, I recommend that you work with the same resolution as me, one of the most common on desktop today. The 16 by 9 screen ratio is also common with phones and tablets, so your assets will most likely work in many configurations. And in any case, you'll be able to produce a beautiful, high-resolution piece of artwork for your portfolio. So we'll go with a target resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. A quick tip, to make your working document twice as big, first create your HD document like normal. So you create a new document, set the width to 1920, height to 1080, press enter. Then go to image, Scale image to new size or press Ctrl Alt I. Change the dimension to percent. Enter 200 in the corresponding box and it will effectively double your document size. Once I have this base resolution set, I just paint inside of it and try to find the right proportions for the various sprites relative to one another. As I told you before, it's often more the game prototype that will dictate some key proportions, but uh, you do have a bit of freedom regarding that as an artist. And for this project, I also want you to focus on your art, on making beautiful and sharp sprites. Because aside from your professional experience, it's mostly the appeal of your art that will get you hired and help your game to sell. Another technical tip, I recommend that you create each character in a separate Krita document. I exported my forest before I started working on the characters, so it only takes one layer and doesn't slow Krita down. The program can become quite slow when you work with large documents, and it gets worse as your layer stack grows more and more complex. That's why as soon as I have a good design for the character in its environment, I crop the document to make it as small as possible. You only need the background to establish the proportions and get your contrast right. You can then polish the character in isolation. Krita becomes a lot more responsive that way and you can work more comfortably. Last but not least, this resolution is but the frame of our mockup. It's visible limits. Our game assets will likely be larger than that. Sometimes they will go out of the screen. It's often the case with trees, for example. In the game, the camera will move and it might even zoom in or out. When you paint an illustration, you will stop to what you see on screen. But when you make game assets, there are parts that might not be visible in your digital painting program that you will still have to paint because in the game, when the character jumps or moves around, they might become visible. 
or you might want to reuse an asset in a different setting or with a different scale, in which case you will need it to be full, quite simply.